Bridge Over Troubled Water is not a good album. No, really, I mean it. After listening to Bookends by Simon and Garfunkel, I said I would also do the same with Bridge Over Troubled Water, listening to from start to finish and comparing the two albums to see which is better. Well, I can officially say Bookends is way better than Bridge Over Troubled Water, and I'm gonna get into that right now. So even though the album itself is not that good, we kick off with the iconic title track. I don't think I need to explain this, you guys already know how good this track is, like, it's just pure perfection the entire way through. The instrumental is perfect, the orchestra is perfect, the singing is perfect, everything about it is just perfect. In my opinion, the best Simon and Garfunkel song of all time, I mean, it has to be, there's no other competition. It's probably, close, close second is The Sound of Silence and then followed by probably Mrs. Robinson, and then after that, Save the Life of My Child. Like, that's like my top four. But Bridge Over Troubled Water, the song, number one. Best song from the duo of all time. But then we get into a couple filler for a bit. El Condor Pasa, If I Could, Cecilia, and Keep the Customer Satisfied. All three of these songs are not good. They're, they're basically like instrumentals, like bad instrumentals, that just got vocals put on them just for the sake of putting on vocals. I love Simon and Garfunkel's harmonizing, obviously, but even they can't do justice when it comes to these bad instrumentals. Like, they are not good in the slightest, and I think it definitely ruined some of the songs, especially El Condor Pasa. Like, that thing goes on for a while, at least in my mind. Like. I think the song is like five minutes long. I could be wrong, but I think it's like close to five minutes long. And now even if it's like four or three minutes, it's still very long for what it is. But thankfully, after three bad songs, we get four good songs. So Long, Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright, The Boxer, Baby Driver, and The Only Living Boy in New York. They're all great songs. My favorite of the bunch is The Only Living Boy in New York. I think it's Simon alone who's singing this because it just like I feel like Garfunkel is the one singing by himself in the opening track, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Like I can tell when they're like singing by themselves or singing together. Like it's been documented that they recorded the vocals separately. So I think some, some songs they have harmonizing and some songs they just sing on their own. I think this one Simon sings on his own and Paul, yeah, Paul Simon sings on his own. And I think he does a pretty good job in this thing. His, his vocal delivery is just great on this track and it's just a very slow ballad to just soften the mood a little bit. And it doesn't go on for a long time either. I think it goes to like for like three, three and a half minutes or something like that. Perfect length for me. Why Don't You Write Me is another song that, you know, they're both in this song together. But I'm sorry, I cannot take those trumpets that sound like farts seriously, okay? G go to the song, skip like one minute past, if you just want to listen to the fart noises, if you want to listen to the full song, go for it. But I'm serious, one minute into this track, there are trumpets playing in the background that sound like farts. I can't play it here for copyright reasons, obviously, but I, I'm, I promise you, I'm not lying to you, they sound like freaking farts. <laughs> and then we have a live version of Bye Bye Love and Song for the Asking, which ends the, ends the track list. Song for the Asking was this close to getting a like from me, but I bet it against it because I thought to myself, am I really gonna remember the song in three days time? And the answer was no, so the album ended it starts off incredible and it ends extremely weak. There are major skips all around and most of all, fart noises. I, I can't with the fart noises, I can't do it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm gonna have to give this album, I've never given things a .5 on the channel. I only give even scores, but this time I'm going against that. I'm going to give this album a 4.5 out of 10. It's not that good. There is replay value here, but honestly, not the best Simon and Garfunkel album by a mile, honestly. My favorite song, if I had to pick a best and worst song, best song is Bridge Over Troubled Water, obviously, and worst song is Why Don't You Write Me with the freaking fart trumpets. So yeah, I think I've gone uh, enough time about this album and the farting trumpets, so I'm gonna leave that there and say that Bookends is the better album. So with that being said, there's my answer. Anyways, I'm out. Peace. Fuck you, fart trumpets.